All right, okay. Y'all are probably going to, I don't know, hate me when I say this, but the new gameplay Sims 4 Growing Together trailer, I liked it. <laughs> I definitely liked it. Now, I'm gonna just break down the trailer and, and just tell you a little bit what I've noticed. Um, so I think there might've been a few things that we've missed. A lot of people maybe, I, I honestly don't know what a lot of people think about this trailer. I just know like a lot of people are, are probably gonna have a different of opinion of, of what I'm about to say. You guys all know I love storytelling. So I wasn't even thinking about what are the new features are gonna be in this pack or whatever. I was looking at this as like, man, this is a really cool story to follow. So I just like the element of storytelling because of course, like I said, I'm more of a storyteller. I like being able to create content based around stories. So I was just intrigued with the storyline. Now let's just dive a little bit into the gameplay. First and foremost, let's define what a trailer promo is. A trailer is basically highlighting if that some of the, some of the key points of, 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 of let's say a film or a, a product without necessarily spoiling the entire product or let's just say movie. In this case, it's a video game, so let's just call it a product versus a movie. But most times, trailers are supposed to just give you a little touch of what to come because you obviously can't give you, they can't give you everything in like a three minute trailer. I mean, let me, let me drink some coffee, man. I need to wake up. Oh, let's rewind. How, how can I not mention this? Not all images appear in game. Let me repeat, not all images appear in game. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, now that we know what a trailer is, let's continue on, all right? So basically the first thing we notice is the world, right? It looks like San Francisco, maybe a little combination of some other things, but we also notice that once they zoom in into the little house joint, there's gonna be a little bit of the little elders walking on the sidewalk. We got bikes, and we also have a little bike thing. And if, if you look, you can also see the little tree house in the back. So it's just giving us a little glimpse. I see gameplay there, okay? I see just in that first little, or the second scene there, you see a bunch of gameplay within like that, you know, just a, a second or two of gameplay right there. Also, big shout out to whoever did the voiceover. I loved it. It was calming, relaxing. As you all know, a lot of the trailers from The Sims 14, they're usually fast, upbeat, awesome music. But this one's, like I said, it wants to bring you into the story. So I, I liked it. I'm gonna keep saying it, I'm gonna keep stressing it. I liked it. I know I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna lose some followers, but it's okay, you know? I, I understand that people want more gameplay. I understand that people wanna see the gameplay. But I think this is just wanting to showcase a story. And if this story doesn't want to showcase every single element of gameplay, that's okay, you know? Because I think the live streams are going to be where we're going to really understand what is going to be going on with the, with the gameplay, you know what I'm saying? That's when we're going to get the build and buy items. That's when we're going to get the cast. So, you know, let's just enjoy the story. Let's enjoy the little narration, right? So, like I said, I see some, I see some gameplay already. I wonder if the doorbell is going to be a new feature as well because when the doorbell rung in the game in the trailer, um, they all had a reaction. Now, again, this could be something that was just for the trailer and not actually for gameplay. But I think it'll be super cool if, when someone comes to visit, especially the grandpas or elders, there could be a reaction based on their relationship. I feel like if they can give us the doorbell jammy jam. That'd be dope. And I feel like there should be a reaction now. If you have this expansion pack, I think there should be some type of reaction to when you get the welcome wagon. The welcome wagon should be able to ring the doorbell too. And you should get one of those crazy like, what's going on? Why is it, you know, who's that at the door? You know, so, cause you don't really have a dynamic with them yet. So you should have like different variations of dynamic, like interactions depending on the relationship or the dynamic you might have with a sim that's ringing the doorbell. You know what I'm saying? So there's all these other little hints of what the gameplay could be, but we won't know that until we do the live stream. I think it was also confirmed that there will be some type of gameplay feature where 
the elders can come up to the door with their suitcase and probably be able to actually stay at an extended period of time. Now, I don't know, like I said, I, this is just a, a speculation, but I think there could be some potential gameplay there. They mentioned in the trailer that it was a temporary stay. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking you can treat this similar to vacations where you can kind of set a specific time that someone can come over and hang out. Whether it's a sleepover, which could be an awesome feature as well, so I'm thinking that this could be something similar to that, where we have vacations now, if you have the, uh, what is it, outdoor retreat, then I think that'd be something that they can implement with this expansion pack, is kind of creating like a uh, two-day type of an event where you can have your elders come over for the day or for a couple days, and then you have like some timed event or, or of some sort. I think that'd be super cool. I think when it comes to the family dynamics, I think it's cool because now with the family dynamics, just from this trailer, I feel like it shows how Sims will react to like, let's say uninvited guests or when guests comes by, they have, now they have like a demeanor about them. Like if, like when, when the homie ain't really vibing with his, when the, with his father-in-law, you can see it, like how they're sitting at the table, not even really, really vibing with each other. It's like they're kind of putting up with each other. But then when the son is hanging out with grandpa, if they're like bonding, they're hanging out because their dynamics is like where it's at. So you can even see some of the gameplay features there where he's like riding a bike and, and, and grandpa is cheering him on. Or when he's having that little sleepover and grandpa like throws the, the, the prank on them, you know? So all those little quick little gameplay features, I think are there for the game. So the only thing I'm wondering is, can you change the family dynamics to your liking or is it something that's developed over time? Like, let's just say something happens with the, with the husband and the wife, will their family dynamic change over time depending on you know, what happens in the relationships due to these new milestones that you can create throughout the gameplay. And I feel like we see that with some of the trailer, you know what I mean? Like, with, like I said, with the father and the grandpa. And then we see some similar dynamics with the husband and the wife when they're going to the theater. So, <laughs> let me loosen up. So yeah, I think the whole little family dynamic thing might work, you know, I think it'll work out. I also like that you can, I don't know how much this will be something that I would use because I like playing with families and I like for all my families to kind of get along, but I do like the idea that the oldest son is not really vibing with the baby because I feel like he has that like he's that he has that jealousy thing going on. So, I think that it's kind of cool that they kind of could give you that option to have at the earlier stages of their relationship, meaning that I'm ass I'm assuming that that is a specific dynamic that could change over time. Because again, I think what this this new expansion pack is trying to do is it's trying to develop ways that you can create new milestones with different Sims, so that way you can develop different types of dynamics with different Sims. So every Sims dynamic could potentially be different, if that makes sense. I don't even know if I said that right, bro, bro. Now keep in mind, there's a lot, there's a lot of going back and forth with the baby gameplay features, such as when the Mondus hand off the baby to the grandpa, and then the Mondus is kind of interacting with the baby while the grandpa is holding the baby. So some of those kind of things, it's like, wow, that's actually a lot of things happening at once. I don't know, I feel like I'm just talking out my booty booty, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm just talking out of the booty because I just feel like I just have all these like ideas, but we won't really know until obviously, like I said, the live stream. So definitely never, I feel like, and I wanna also throw this, this disclaimer in there as well. These are my speculations. I just feel like the generational joint just gonna add just maybe a little extra touch, a couple centimeters of extra gameplay for me, you know what I mean? And, and if that's what is it, that, that's what it is, I get a new world, we get a new couple new, you know, cool, fun little family dynamic, gameplay interactions, I, we in there like swimwear, you know what I mean? So I just thinking that I, I can just see, I can hint, I just see, I just see just a touch of like the dynamics working throughout the trailer. So the more into the trailer you get and you go, it, it shows that the dynamics can change. So you can see that when he rings the doorbell now, there is no weird reaction. So I think as the trailer progresses, you notice that like, oh, okay, and everybody's more vibing now. Even the, even the little kid is almost to the point where he's starting to really vibe with 
the baby. Because you can even see some of the gameplay features towards the end. The kid is starting to do little peekaboo little inter interactions with the baby, you know? The kid is trying to be that big bro, you know? He's trying to be big bro, you know what I mean? So, and also what I'm excited for too is how the, I feel like the dynamics will introduce new interactions like handshakes, as you can see, Grandpa and uh, I forgot the homeboy's name already, but Grandpa and homeboy, they already giving daps towards the end of the video. You know what I'm saying? So look, again, I just feel like it's just gonna give us some of that generational family gameplay that might not have been there. And so it's just giving us a little extra, you know, giving us a little boost of, of generational gameplay is what I wanna call it. And that's what I'm talking about, y'all. So that's my opinion. I enjoy the narration. I, and that's my opinion, and that's my spec, and that's my speculation, y'all. I'm telling you, I enjoyed the trailer. It was nice. It was it was soothing. I enjoyed watching it. It just broke down how dynamics worked. It gave us a little hint of gameplay. Sure, it could have gave given us more, but that's what the live streams are for. Again, these are trailers. I already gave you the definition of what a trailer is, and also not all images are going to be appear in the actual game. So you already know those things from me, and I'm telling you. Let's see what the live stream's about, all right? Let's see what the live stream's about. I know y'all gonna be like, oh, he's, uh, he, he's, uh, well, you know, giving, uh, giving this expansion pack hype. I'm not giving the expansion pack hype. I'm just saying that I liked the trailer, all right? When it comes to the actual expansion pack, I honestly have no opinion yet. I'm just really excited to get more gameplay features, to possibly get a new world to maybe see what the build and buy and cast looks like. We can always use more hair, especially more people of color hair. So I'm just excited to see what this expansion pack is gonna give us. Now, will it be expansion pack worthy? Could it be game pack worthy? I ain't that type of simmer that can break down those type of details for you. I'm just gonna take whatever they give me and you know I'm gonna just create some stories out of it, all right? So keep that plum bob green, all right? Cause you know it ain't that hard. Till next time, I'll see you. When I see you, dag dag.